Welcome back to Steve's Small Engine Saloon. Check this out. Honda lawnmower rolls perfectly fine forward. You can hear that little click, click, click. The gears are working good in there. Look how hard that is to pull backwards. Forward. Beautiful thing. Backwards. It's hard to pull backwards. I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. There's a big long bushing that the axle goes through for your rear wheels. It's a really tight bushing. The axle goes through it. No reason to take it all apart. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Sometimes there is a reason, but 99.9% .9 of the time, this is going to work for you when your Honda lawnmower pulls backwards hard. Let's flip her over and I'll show you. Okay, so I have this tipped over on the proper side now. The carburetor and air filter are up here. Um, we're going to have to flip it over on the other side too in a, in a minute. We'll get to that in a second. Um, I actually have a video on that. A uh, video for that link in the description and the pin comment if you want to see it. Now see, that's going forward. You can hear that ratchet going in the gear. Nothing wrong with the gear. You spin it backwards and it's really tight to spin backwards. I can't even, I can't even, give me a sec. I can, two hands on here and I can barely spin that axle through the bushing. It's the bushings right here where the axle goes through that side and through that side. That's what's getting tight in there. You get a little bit of water in there and it creates a little bit of rust and it starts binding up on you. That's the key right there. So do this. A little bit of uh, penetrating fluid. Spray lube. You can use some spray lube like that if you want to, but I, I always go to my, uh, my concoction. ATF, 50% uh, automatic transmission fluid, 50% acetone. Always works for me. I have a video on that also right in the description in the pinned comment if you want to go check that video out. Check this out. You just squirt a little bit in there so it soaks down into that bushing. And then, you know what? I always throw a little bit on the top of this transmission gearbox here too. I don't think this is a problem. It's not the gearbox, but you know, I think that's just general maintenance anyway. Put a little bit on there. It's not going to hurt. So now you... You can just do that, rotate it around, let it soak in there. Do it a couple times if you want to. Keep go, going, uh, put more on, more on, and then you're going to uh, keep seeing that seeping down, seeping down. Now we have to do the other side. I know this is incorrect what I'm doing, but it's easy. Take the gas cap off. Take a Ziploc bag, piece of plastic, whatever you got, and put that on and screw your gas cap back on. The only thing that's going to happen when we tip this on the wrong side, actually, you know what? Take your air filter off too. Yeah, because there's a little bit of gasoline in your carburetor bowl. It could come up and, and get your air filter wet too. So take your air filter off. Now nothing can happen. We're only tipping this over on the wrong side uh, for like, man, five, 10 seconds tops. So you can do that. Now, no gas is going to drip out and uh, flip it over. Do the same thing right there on the other side and on top of the transmission too. Why not, right? Put a little bit of that on there and Spin that around now. Take it outside and just run it and uh, shut it off. Pull it backwards, whatever you want to do. Have that little bottle with you and uh, get, periodically just tip it over again. Five seconds on each side and just put a little more shot in there. Tip it over the outside, another little shot in there and keep going until that penetrating fluid actually creeps into there and starts working. Pretty soon you're going to find that that is working again. It's pulling backwards a way, way easier. Let's take it out and try it again.
Let's go. So obviously you can't feel this, what I'm doing right now. You can sort of see it, but this is just way, way easier to pull backwards now. Pretty much like they are out of the box. All for about 15 seconds work for you. That is an easy, easy thing for you to try. Try that first. It's so ridiculously easy before you go start tearing everything apart. What can I say? Try it out. I hope I help somebody out there. That is a lucky logger fix if I ever heard one. Cheers. Steve out.